Though, two rules to understanding this word. How do we use the word though in English? What does though mean in all of the following sentences? We played badly, but it was a good game though. Think first, though, about your behavior. We can't see the concert tonight. But I wanted to go, though. Though I was upset, I managed to feel better later. Daniel's class was not so great, though he could still finish it. Though you made me pay, there will be no hard feelings. How can we know how to use the word though correctly? That's what we will learn in today's lesson. In the first three sentences from before. We played badly, but it was a good game though. Think first, though, about your behavior. We can't see the concert tonight. But I wanted to go though. Though is functioning as an adverb which we use to make what we are saying sound less strong or not so important. For example, if we repeat the previous sentences without though, the overall meaning is still correct, but just more direct and strong. That said, you should not use though all the time, only when you want something to sound less direct. More direct and stronger without though. We played badly, but it was a good game. Think first about your behavior. We can't see the concert tonight. But I wanted to go. So we use though to soften what we want to express to sound a little less assertive or less strong. Important to note that you do not have to use though all the time. Just use it when you feel the need. For example, more direct and important, less direct and important. It's unfortunate because I wanted to see you. It's unfortunate because I wanted to see you, though. We have never been to Ireland. We have never been to Ireland, though. Lastly, though has another meaning. In our initial example from the beginning of the lesson, in the last three sentences, Though I was upset, I managed to feel better later. Daniel's class was not so great, though he could still finish it. Though you made me pay, there will be no hard feelings. Here, the word though works as a conjunction and not as an adverb. Conjunctions are words that connect words or phrases. So, in these examples, we use though, which is functioning as a conjunction, to make one part of the sentence more important than the other part. Now we will break down the previous sentences where though is functioning as a conjunction so you can better understand. Though I was upset, I managed to feel better later. We use the conjunction though to say that despite feeling upset, she still managed to feel better, hence the most important part, feel better. Daniel's class was not so great, though he could still finish it. He could still finish it is what is important and happened despite the class not being so great. Lastly, in Though you made me pay, there will be no hard feelings. We use the conjunction though to make the statement you made me pay less strong than there will be no hard feelings. So we want to put emphasis on the desired statement there will be no hard feelings. Furthermore, you can also use although and though interchangeably when you're using though as a conjunction. That is, when though is functioning as a conjunction, you can also use although. Both mean the same. However, although cannot equal though when though acts as an adverb, which we use to soften what we want to say. For instance, you can say, Football is fun, though. Here, though, is an adverb, but you cannot say, 
Football is fun although. In this last case, we cannot use the conjunction although because we need an adverb and not a conjunction. So, although cannot function as an adverb, only as a conjunction. Now we will just quickly summarize what we have learned in today's lesson. We can use though as an adverb to kind of soften what we say, and we can use though or although as a conjunction to make a part of a sentence more important than the other part. So if you liked this lesson, would you mind giving us a like and subscribe? It really helps our channel.